Guys, welcome back in to yet another video. I'm telling you, we cranking these bitches out. We throwing them out like goddamn shit. Paper boys back in the 80s who just throw the throw the motherfuckers. That new paper boy done gone and broke my sternum. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what we doing. We throwing these videos out here. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, my AOT brothers and sisters, we back at it again. Guys, we finna get into this one. This is one that was recommended to me by, um, by a commenter who commented on one of the previous videos I did. Moe, I think Moe, Mo. I don't want to mispronounce it. Apologies, but I appreciate you uh, uh, posting this and uh, having this something for me to react to. So I, I will react to this. Guys, you can do this. If there's a video that you want me to react to, if you enjoy the content that I'm putting out there and you enjoy my take on it, put it in there. Let me know. Send me a link. I'll react to it. But this particular video is pertaining to AOE, guys. Yet again, I think I'm a little... I'm a little new in the space. I will agree. I'm a little new in the whole AOE space, you know, trying to go in and look at the nuances of whether or not there's going to be an anime original ending or if there's not going to be one, but I'm pretty new to it. Before we get into the video, I want to make my stance known very clear. Did I despise the ending to uh, chapter 139? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Did I hate some of the themes that they presented in the last chapter? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Would I have preferred the chapter to end differently than it did? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. Having said that, I'm on, the, I'm on the side of thinking that the chapter didn't make any sense. The chapter was ass. There were so many different ways that it could have went in a sense of the thing that we got. You know, so I am very much on the side of hoping that there is an Attack on a Titan anime original ending. However, guys, however, as I mentioned and as I previously mentioned in the other video, I'm a receipts person. I don't, I'm one of those people to where like, I don't want to get so overly excited and so invested into something that I don't truly believe could possibly happen. Because all of these symbols and all of these different things, yeah, they're cool to, to investigate and they're very cool to kind of go into and, and, and look and, and try to determine and connect the uh, missing links of stuff. Yeah, that's cool and all. Don't get me wrong. That's great. But I don't want to get so invested into looking and saying, oh, yeah, this is possible here and this, this and and they, they put this over here and, oh man, it's, it's definitely possible. And then, you know, oh well, boom, it's a bust and it doesn't fucking happen, right? Um, not saying that the evidence isn't to a degree overwhelming. The evidence is very high up there that there's a possibility that there's something else other than the ending we got in the manga is going to take place in the anime. There very much is. But what I am saying is that I don't personally want to invest myself so deep into the fact that there will be a 100% guaranteed, without a shadow of a doubt, anime original ending, when in fact we honestly just don't know. With that being said, guys, I know that was a more of a ramble, but we're going to react to this video. Um, this video in particular was posted... Uh, this video in particular was posted uh, eight months ago by a particular user by the name of Zero K. This was eight months ago. The user Zero K posted this. It's called Justified, and it's called Attack on Titan's Upcoming Official Alternate Ending. It's official now. That's the word they use. So, like, it's guaranteed. It's set in stone that this is going to happen. Now, this was posted eight months ago, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're going to check this out again. Shout out to you. Shout out to Mo, uh, uh, Moe. I'm going to call him Moe. I like Moe. Well, shout out to Moe for recommending this video for me to react to. I definitely will, my friend. I appreciate it. And we're going to go into it. This is going to kind of elaborate on all the points that kind of Brown's Magic went into a little bit too. 
So we're just going to kind of go into this, looking at it. I'm going into it with the open mind, guys. I want to see what they're going to present, just like I saw what she presented. And we're just going to go from there. You already know the drill. Get the business out the way. Guys, if you love what you see and you like what you see, go on and hit that thumbs up button on the video. I very much appreciate it. And also, guys, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Guys, the subscriptions have been going up. And I appreciate all those who have. We've been moving in a great direction. Moving forward as Aaron would want us to do. What else is <laughs> And I appreciate all the love that you guys have given. So I very much appreciate that. Also, comment. I love the comments. I love the conversation we have. I love us going back and forth, have, having a dialogue. It's great. It's awesome. And that gives you the opportunity like this to send me videos, Attack on Titan related, other little social uh, social videos or anything that you may want to have a second opinion on, you can send it. Comment. I appreciate it. And then also, guys, share the content. Sharing is caring. And everything that's asked, those four things that I'm asking is all free. Doesn't cost you a dime. But I very much appreciate those who have and those that will in the future. All right. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get into it. I didn't talk enough. I didn't talk your ear off. So let's see what Zero K has to say regarding the official now, official alternative ending for Attack on Titan. Let's fucking get it. 30 minutes long. I'm going to try to, uh, we're we going to work it out. Let's do this. I definitely have. I'm not going to share my opinions on whether the endings are good or not. I'm only going to give information. Okay. I made this video about the alternative ending, but this time I'll be explaining it from the beginning. This video is a simplified version of all the information I've been collecting over the past year. Okay. Some fans may not know this, but Isayama, the author, stated that he had an original ending for Attack on Titan, but it was decided that he would go in a different direction. When Karazza was a group, that's the people who were saying, we're making the intro and outro music for Attack on Titan. They made a music video link in the description, recommended the content first, which symbolically displays the original ending. Now, this is the ending of the man, like the man in black, right? The one that, again, Brown's Magic was referencing. Uh, about the man in black who had the limp, who came home, uh, visited the grave and stuff, had a kid and shit like that, but was living a very somber life. You know what I mean? Didn't was very, very much looked like a war torn person, right? So this was what their video supposedly a lot of people were saying that their video was linked to the original uh, ending that um, uh, Isayama had. So, let's continue. And our ending did happen in the manga. People are upset. LT no record fanfic. LT no record around my Red Dead was great. Now, here's the thing too, guys. I'm not going to be honest with you. I'm going to be honest with you real quick and I'm going to let the video play. As you guys know how I roll, y'all know how I pause it in the beginning very quickly to give my quick thoughts. I wasn't upset that the A and R ending didn't happen. I personally wasn't. I think that it could have ended differently for sure. And the themes that were introduced in the final chapter were some themes we didn't need. And some themes just basically, as they say, retconned the previous chapters that we've received before. I was just upset at the way 139 ended in general. But yeah, Attack on Titan, No Rec Room, guys, AOT No Rec Room, I suggest you check it out if you are fans. It is a fan fiction that's written from the perspective of a lot of different uh, Attack on Titan fans. And it is very, very, very good. So far, they've released, I think, three parts. And each of those three parts has held true to the previous chapters of the manga, of the original manga by Isayama. And they're kind of going through the final ending portion of that whole little arc. They said they were doing 137, 38, and 39. That's what they were doing. It's very good. I suggest you guys go check it out. 
I'll leave a link to their um, I'll leave a link to their website down below in the description so you guys can click on it and go check it out and read those parts and uh, yeah they're very very good so let's continue Here's the storyline of the Aaron symbolizes a man who completes the rumble. However, as the cause of Aaron decided to go 100%, the Alliance dies. The people of the walls go out to the outside world after it heals. There's a wall where nobody should be healed. Whatever. Aaron has a family. Aaron goes on a trip back to the abandoned paradise and pay respects. And face the darkness. When he gets away, he goes to the next kid, Aaron. Kid Aaron will forget about this when he wakes up, but the embedded memory will remain until it is restored to him at some point in the future. Okay. <clears throat> Kid Aaron doesn't understand because he doesn't know really that this is future Aaron. Aaron goes back to the Paradise somewhere in the outside of the world. Aaron stopped by Mars initially, so he got his mind for himself. Kid Aaron realized that he had to do so. Kid Aaron witnesses the rumbling with the butterflies and the background representing the people that died during the rumbling. Okay. Well. <clears throat> this represents the Alliance members. See, this is what leads me to believe that AOE is possible just because of the way that he awoke in here. He awoke differently in the anime than he did in the chapter, uh, chapter one of the manga, as I pointed out in a previous video. This is the only thing for me that's pretty definite. Like, okay, yeah, we might be on or something because of that. And somebody had pointed out, again, I don't know who it was. Please forgive me. Somebody pointed out that um, the way that he's laying in here, like he's laying down and buried, like he he's laying down as if he was buried like he was in 139. Like he's laying down as he was dead. Whereas in chapter one of the manga, he was sitting up. In the manga, in chapter one, as if he was sitting up in chapter 138, when he died and she said, see you later, Aaron. When she said that, she said, see you later. And he closed his eyes. And then he had that vision of seeing her there when it says, see you later in the manga. But you didn't see that in here in the anime. He's had a nightmare in the anime. So he did wake up like that and you saw the black birds come up. So what they're saying is that 
if you related to the A and R thing, and based off of what he said, yeah, based off of what they just said about Kid Aaron accepting that fate, this is Kid Aaron here accepting that fate that he, you know, shared those little memory buds or whatever with uh, Kid Aaron. So let's continue. Because of that, future Aaron's sins are for him to commit to. Simply put, it's a remembrance for those who have died from the rumbling from the beginning of the story of the first episode. Okay. The A&R, Koski no reference, ending is regarded as, in soul, the true ending. Okay. All right. This music video, made in 2018, is an inversion of what the manga ending I went into much further detail about this in other videos, but I'll give simple examples. Kid Era parallels manga ending Armin. Okay. Aaron lives, but the alliance dies. Aaron lives, but the alliance dies parallels how in the manga ending the alliance lives, but Aaron dies. The people of Paradise thrives parallels how in the manga ending the people of Paradise are bombed to them. The point is that this ending isn't just something Link to Horizon came up with. Isayama is 100% involved. So without a doubt, A&R is the inverted counterpart of the manga ending. There are many more details that signify what exactly will happen in the A&R ending, but this video is mostly about verifying you that this twist ending is upcoming and how it will be revealed. Let's go over the description of the music video. <clears throat> right. The story begins quietly with the mysterious white creature that appears from the beginning and the man in the black coat that appears every day in front of the creature. We hope that each viewer will understand the truth that gradually becomes apparent as the story The mysterious white creature that appears from the beginning that it's there. We hope that each viewer will understand the truth that gradually becomes apparent as the story progresses. Proves that the mainstream audience is supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> mainstream audience is supposed to understand this information. Okay. Let's see how I'm say this about my original. Although I'm progressing towards the ending that I had been set before, my approach towards the ending itself has changed from the original version. Right? So before I get into how A&R will be revealed, I want to state the fact that A&R is something Isayama did make and most likely the original ending for Attack on Titan. Now this video I'll show takes place at the event that features AOT officials voice actors, directors, etc. Okay. This is where one of the sound directors messed up and revealed details about A&R Live. お、に、何か聞きたいこと伝えたいこと。ね、聞きたいこと伝えたいこと。もうそれは多分会場で皆さんがね、あの、語っておられると思うんで、えっと、大丈夫じゃないですかね。あの、そうだね。あの、このファイ
っき三馬さんちょっと気になること言ってなかった、うんうんはい、必ずしもスルーしたんですけど<笑>原作とあの人でも、うん、なんとなく言ってる可能性は吹かす時あるかな<笑>ありますね気にしないようにしましょう、うん、そうですね、はい、あの今のところ<笑>、はい、そんなことはない<笑>そうだよ、ね、ところはないそうなんだよね,ね,ね,ね、うんはい、あのかあ,あんまり考えすぎないようにはいはい I'm going down guys I'm going down the rabbit hole with y'all I'm going down the rabbit hole with y'all あの、今のところ<笑>、はい、そんなことはない。そうだよ、ね。もうそれは多分会場で皆さんがねあの語っておられると思うんでえー、っと大丈夫じゃないですかねあのそうだねあのこのファイナルが本当に原作通り終わるのかどうか。Okay so he's saying that <coughs> okay and, and also the reason I'm reading it too It's because I am,、uh, my camera is covering up some of the words, so I'm just reading it for everybody in case they haven't seen it. So I'm reading it and I'm also, you know what I mean? That's why. So somebody's asking in the video, but why the fuck you come to me? You can see, man, I can't w e e We can see, man. You can't see, motherfuckers. Okay? <laughs> anyway, okay, let's continue. So, I'm going to talk to you guys about the video. I'm going to talk to you guys. This is not a real deal. It's the idea that you can make it. First of all, the fact that Nina Sai said, I think everyone was talking about it. The event shows that the head of the original company has approved our sons of the world. He kept it almost correct. Okay, so that was the first This next piece of evidence verifies everything up to this point. All right, let's see what we're talking about. Here, I'm going to talk about the outro for season four, part two, which came out after the manga ended. Many say it goes against an AOE, but I'll prove that it's the exact opposite. <laughs> No, I didn't see a goddamn thing. Let's see. Okay, let's look closely here. Hold on, let me look closely. <laughs> Not only does this detail I will show prove in connections, but it also amplifies the probability of everything I've proved. 
pencil plane through the roof, okay? If you remember, the general consensus is that Kid Aaron is this entity, right? Feathers, right? Okay. And Kid Aaron witnesses the end of the story. Look at the flowers closely. Kid Aaron, feel the white flowers, like that. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh shit, okay, okay. All right. symbolism confirms that the manga ending will happen without explaining. If you know, manga Aaron tried to escape fate but failed. I believe this represents his drive for freedom how in the end the bird was caged and destroyed. This is the past part of the misunderstands. This is kid Aaron. After Aaron's failure they remain caged by fate. But then the cage is liberated. This represents Aaron breaking out of his destiny with him no longer being caged by faith. He can go 100%. Okay. A major misunderstanding is that this is Paradise Destroyed, so this disproves AOE, but in reality it proves AOE. I recall hints in the season 2 outro from 2017 and I realized this when I should fix. Yeah, the one. People It shows people on the walls the outside of the world. Yeah, it does. It did. I agree with that. This, that's when I realized that these ruins aren't of a destroyed paradise, but one of them abandoned. This is why Kid Aaron is happy instead of distraught when he sees paradise and ruins. chosen the path he'd regret the least his story finally ends mm. now I will I'll say this now uh zero K you making a really 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 good argument here Really good argument. I, I must say, you making an excellent fucking argument, though. Excellent fucking argument. Let's continue, man. This is really important for multiple reasons, all right? For one, it gives more context to the A&R music video. The AOE community never figured out that this scene was Aaron going from the abandoned parodies back to the new one where the guards initially stopped him from entering until he identifies himself. Okay. We also now know that in AR, after nature healed from the rumbling, the walls were abandoned, overgrown, and decayed. This also fits the season two intro from 2017, okay? In the beginning, it's normal. Okay? But in the end, it's overgrown and decayed with the same white flower. Let's go back to here. Three, and get it on the show. 
Xehanort didn't happen in the long term, but what the kid here in the chapter. The manga chapter, yeah, this is what I was talking about. So, so they're about to go into what I was saying in my little video about how the chapter one uh, of the manga was totally different from the anime episode one. So they're about to go into that. So they just said in the manga chapter one, 2009, <clears throat> Kid Aaron dreams of his last moments being alive before he wakes up. This picture here is shown in technically uh, chapter 138 where he's closing his eyes, right? He's closing his eyes as he's, you know, the curse came and got him, Ymir's curse came and got him and killed him. And she said, see you later. This is what he sees in the manga. However, in anime, what did we see? We saw the blood. We saw the, like, visions and shit. Nightmarish shit. So, and the black birds on top of that fly from the top of the tree, in which he was laying under. Kid Aaron dreamed of his last moments being alive before he wakes up. <sighs> right. See you later, Aaron. 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 Hmm. Wake up. It'll get dark if we go, don't go home now. Most people see this scene in the manga as an Easter egg of how Aaron dies more than something important to the plot. Picasso, uh, when did your hair get so long? Were you really so sound asleep that you were still dreaming when you woke up? No, but I feel like I just had the longest dream. That's the same. Crying. However, in the anime, right, this scene was different. Yup. It was. It was. Like, instead of waking up relaxed like in the manga, he wakes up like he was like, Yep. That's it. Instead of asking about Mikasa's hair being longer like in the manga version, He did. He did. See, that's the same. That's the same, the whole crime thing. That's the same. In the anime, Aaron's dream is different because it was replaced by his interaction with future Aaron in a and R. Something to remember for the future. The manga already has many slight differences from the anime, for example. Yeah, it does. It did. It did have a few slight differences. In the manga, Mikasa has a black star. In the anime, Mikasa has a red star. Now that, I'll be honest with you, like that, I see that, I saw that, but I, I really don't, I don't know the meaning of that because when I'm looking at that more so is, it's like, just the coloring aspect of it, right? In the manga, anyway, it's black and white, so we don't technically know what color it was. It's drawn black, but it may not have been black, right? You know what I'm saying? It could have been an off gray or whatever. That's why that's no relevance, but I'll see where uh, Zero K is going with this. In the manga, Mikasa turns to the right to face Aaron. Yeah, it made me cause to the left. Basically, the manga and the anime are in different timelines. It's believed that they are connected and that it will be elaborated on in the anime. If there are flashbacks in the anime that have parts of the manga timeline in the anime, they consider the connection is proven and therefore it may be It may not appear to be that important to remember, but it could very be, be very significant. Go over the biggest current piece of evidence. All right. The video game of love is a major inspiration for Isayama. He even admitted that he pretty much ripped it off. In Love Love Takuru, the main character fails. 80% of humanity perishes. 
the beta, which are non or human killing monsters, were believed to have been wiped out, but they were actually just fine. Basically, it was all for nothing. Okay. An extension of the ending called The Day After shows how everything was pretty much going to hell in the first. Many of the fans did not like this ending at all. Okay. That was until they were surprised with a new day. It turns out that Taco Room was in a time where the timeline is reset. That the how wasn't okay. The how wasn't explained to Buffalo Alternative. Okay. Buffalo Alternative was in Soul the true ending. Before the only thing the fans got about this were hints. People in the community who have played of Love can confirm this, and some say playing of Love is already enough on its own to convince you of an AOE. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> That's why he just flooded, so I just flashed it real quick. Of course, this is a direct connection to Attack on Titan. Excuse me. This Yama also furthered the connection by making an extension of the ending, adding eight pages below. Well. Therefore, He's still following his formula. Then the anime will be the final timeline, the true ending. Bonus, Blackbird Theory. Yeah, the Blackbird Theory. Um, yeah, that he went with that. Yeah, yeah. This is commonly regarded as not that important, but I'm going to add it anyway due to the fact that it could be significant later. In the manga timeline from the uh, part four, there's a bird that flies over the falcon. Yeah. As manga readers know, Aaron is symbolized as a bird, right? Notice how the bird is flying. The bird is white in the manga and is headed away from the sea. Okay. In the anime, the bird is introverted color and headed in the inverted direction toward the sea. This is believed to symbolize something like how the anime will be the inversion of see that idea as a nod to this image finally to rise into the future. People think the white wing represents the manga ending while the dark bloody wing represents the anime. Let's go over some kind of argument. Okay? Kind of argument what? Kruger's word, save because of arm and everyone else is what they are. Kruger didn't see everything. Kruger probably only saw glimpses of the future that Aaron intended for him to see. That's true. Now that is a good argument. So let me let me let me let me jump to devil's advocate here. Now your counter your counter argument to the counter argument is that he probably didn't see everything. Probably key word. We don't know what Kruger saw, but we can actively assume that Aaron is picking and choosing what he wants to show people, right? Of course, we do know that much, at least. That's a good point. It's a valid point. It's a valid point, but it's up in the air. So, you know what I'm saying? Everything, el everything else that Zero K has um, presented has been based on factuals. It's not like you're just randomly just picking stuff out of the air. So I do agree with that. Just like Brown's Magic did as well. Everything that they pulled out is, is, is factual, you know what I'm saying? But some of the stuff is like, can it be, can it be counter-argued? That first counter-argument one was a good point. It was a valid point. We just don't know exactly what Aaron showed to Kruger. So, yeah. All right, Aaron is predetermined to go 80%. This is an argument that time in the series behaves in a way that even, even, even if you can... This is an argument that time in the series behaves in a way that even if you see the future, even if it was a result of your choice, you cannot change it. That's fate. Basically, Aaron is fated to always go 80%, even though he made that choice. He can't change that because the future is unchangeable. This argument doesn't hold up because things in the past have changed, which also changes the future. True. 
a critical aspect of love love is the fact that everything isn't set in stone that things can be changed if Ishiyama holds love love story to high regard why would he make attack on titan the opposite some aoe believers think that's it's because your mirror was involved somehow choosing the costume again another idea is that the manga cannot the manga canon ending uh, was a past version vision. Another idea is that the manga canon ending, or whatever for short, was a past vision Aaron made for Armin's wish. Like how in chapter 138, Aaron made a past vision for Mikasa's wish. Okay. In 138, when Mikasa saw this past vision and how it would lead to failure, she gave up on her dream and married and killed him. Okay. So in the AOE, Armin could see Check 139 via past vision and how it would lead to failure. So he would give up on his dream. Let's say this is true. And the AC on the side to scrap the hand on and therefore scrap the hand on the Things like this, season two outro in 2017, are happening. But this argument claims that after these hints were made, that would mean that after the scrapping, the, the hints of AR ending would stop being made. However, this is not true because even after the MCE happening, we are still getting AR hits. This means that A&R is still planned for Attack on Titan currently, proving proven specifically because the hits still occur consistently. Everything was a coincidence. Now that's a ter now that's a that's a terrible argument, right? Coincidence, because I don't I'm not one to believe in coincidence. So that's as I said before. The points that Brown's magic was making and even with Zero K what they're making, I agree. I don't believe in Quincy. I just don't believe in a random acts just happening and things adding up in line as uh, uh, precise as these things are. It's just coincidental that these things happen. I don't believe that. So I do agree. I don't believe that. But what I do believe and what I do think is I do think that there is some... Uh, to some degree, I do think that the possibility of an AOE is highly, highly possible. I do agree with that. I do believe that to be the case for sure. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. But let's continue. <laughs> well, I said no. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Just no. Yeah, I agree. That's why I say like I, I'm. I'm in 100% agreement with that. No, like that's the only answer you need to give. No, you know what I just gave and shit like that was unnecessary. Literally, no. Yeah, I agree. No. The problem is that it would mean that all of the hints we've gotten to AR's existence in general are just nothing somehow. Imagine seeing a coincidence that points to something happening, then more and more coincidences point to that something happening consistently and it being at this rate almost completely coherent and reasonable to believe in. The AOE community has predicted what would happen many months ago and we've consistently been proven correct with our assumptions. Simply put, if it's an extended repeating pattern that hasn't been significantly discredited over time, it becomes impossible for it to be inaccurate. The only time the AOE has been discredited is when some believers hype up things that obviously won't happen, like Levi actually dying in the first episode of season one third. Claims like that are merely stretches though, and it happens for both sides commonly saying the a was completely scrapped is an example of that. Also, you can debunk any valid concrete theory that exists in the world by calling it a coincidence or a misinterpretation. It's true. Number five, it ruins the manga ending. The manga, the first one, <laughs> the manga itself ended and destroyed its own ending. The manga ending was fucking garbage. That shit was trash. That shit was unnecessary and trash. We all know that. So for you to even say, for that to even be a counter argument, those people can shut the fuck up. I'm past the point of being like, you know what, I see, I see why people like this and why people, no, fuck that. If you like this shit, I don't know what to tell you. So if you like that shit, die. 
We don't know the full details of how the AOE will actually go down, though. The majority of the things we have are the concepts, and this plot line is probably Isayama's favorite part of the story, too. So it'll definitely be fleshed out. Many L Believer says it actually makes the MCA better because it gives much more depth to it and gives context that the MCA really needs. Agree. Oh, it's kind of the AOE will be bad. No, no, the AOE won't be bad. If if the if the original if the anime original ending ends the way I think it will end, or the concept in which I kind of want it to end, like it won't even be bad. Even if it's close to how I'm saying, it won't even be bad. The reality is this, and this is what I this is what I fleshed out. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong, and y'all tell me if y'all agree with me. If he goes 100. percent 100% that will destroy everything else that will destroy the whole bullshit bullshit of him wanting his mom dead that will destroy those little bullshit little uh 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 errand memories that they had those little oh he loved us he said he would save my mama that would end Mikasa uh being chosen by Ymir for some random reason that's gone the shit of him talking about, oh, I have no idea why I did what I did because, you know, I was just going with the flow and I I just didn't know. That would be gone. The lion should have died. Looking at the manga from the perspective of someone who knows stories, who has any logical sense, and this is for everybody, right? Anybody who has any logical sense, any, any logical sense whatsoever of determining and knowing how Attack on Titan played through from chapter 1 to chapter 137 or 136, whatever, right? There is no way in hell that six to seven people can stop hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of colossal titans. They struggled on just Bertolt. On just Bertolt. One. Do you honestly think that they would be able to stop what they went against without Aaron holding back? Like, come on. Like, come on. Let's let's be smart about this, guys. And the, the evidence that we've seen multiple times throughout the show, throughout the manga, they struggled on like a few Titans. A few regular Titans, right? You mean to tell me that these folks is just that cold? They be First of all, their best hero is down. He out of commission. I'm talking about Levi. He out of commission. They second best is Mikasa. Okay? All right. Mikasa's good. Then you got Annie. She's good too. But they were on top of this motherfucker's back, dog. And abnormal Titans, even Titans from the past, were coming to attack these motherfuckers. And they just that good to where they can just hold off six and seven Titans now? Come on, dude. Let's... Let's... Let's think. Come on. I said, okay. Okay. I'm making a mini series where I display fresh AOE verification of Apollo events on folders soon as said events. It's available on my AOE concluded playlist in the description. You can find another playlist featuring all the AOE theories videos I've made in order, first dating back to the true birth of AOE theory itself. Most of the videos there are almost completely different from this one, and you can get the bigger picture by watching them. The R and MR subreddit description is also comes with the Discord server has community discuss AOE. In the meantime, you should share this specific video to enlighten others on those who do and don't know about AOE because this video is most coherent and speaks evidence in all the video re uploads and uses on videos are allowed. New AOE releases. Everything will happen. I will fucking. <laughs> hey, all right, okay, okay. Um, I'll honestly say this. I will honestly say this. That was a very well done video and an interpretation of the anime ending possibility. Anybody who is questioning it or on the fence about it, 
I would recommend watching that and sharing it with people. Am I a thousand percent sure that an AOE is possible? I ain't gonna say a thousand, but I will say after watching this video, I'm excited. I'll say that I'm excited. Because again, I'm going to hold true to who I am and what I stand, what I to say as far as, like I said, I need like a real receipts type situation. But I will say the evidence in this video from Zero K is very, very, very large. It's very, very convincing. I will say that. So if you are on the fence about it in any way, shape, or form, this video can, can, can it has the a uh, 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 huge ability to push you over that edge? I will say that, but yeah, it's a, it's a very good video, very good fleshed out video. Kind of gets down right to the points, gets down right to the nitty gritty of the AOE situation. And to be perfectly honest with you, it was very well done. It was extremely well done. Uh, as I said, I did thoroughly enjoy it. I did like it. So again, shout out to you, Moe. Uh, I appreciate it. Appreciate you giving me that link. Um, this was very good. This was very good. Um, just the final thoughts about the whole situation. I do sincerely hope that there is an AOE. I really do. And as I said uh, previously, if you do a one, if he does a 100% rumbling, which is, to be honest with you, the only way. Uh, he could get things done. If it even ends, as I said, close to any semblance of how people think it's going to end, like close to the A&R situation, I will say this, and I will say this live right now. You can zoom in on my face here. It will be the greatest work of fiction of all time. There, I said it. Lord Dragonoff decrees that if AOE happens even close to the ANR or even close to how a lot of people are even thinking, like I said, 100% rumbling, whatever that may be, to where everybody dies and they do that type of situation, and it's just Aaron and Aaron has a family and this, this, and that. If it even is remotely close to that, Attack on Titan will be the greatest work of fiction of all time. Of all time. And Isayama will be held as the greatest writer of all time. End of discussion. Guys, that's going to do it for me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those who haven't seen this video and are watching it along with me, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, what I'll do is still link the description uh, of the full video in its entirety, again, down below in the description box so you guys can go and share that with individuals if you want uh, without my commentary on it. And yeah, let's get into it, guys. Let's do this. Let's make it happen. Let's keep moving forward. More content is going to be on the way. Again, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. Let's do this thing, and I'll see you motherfuckers in the next fucking video. I'm out.